Our next guest became an instant star when she played the lovable Chrissy Snow in the 70s classic sitcom Three's Company. She's also the author of many books, including her most recent book. It's called Toxic From Toxic to Not Sick. Please welcome Suzanne Summers. <laughs> You look that. great as always. Now, I heard through the rumor mill that you were actually inducted into the Infomercial Hall of Fame. How about that? Ah. That is awesome. <laughs> and, and I, I remember at the time, uh, we had the Thigh Master, and I remember at the time saying to my husband, yeah, but it, nobody did that at that time. Is this going to ruin my career? And he said, well, at the moment, you don't have a career. <laughs> <laughs> you alluded to it. Did, let's check this out. It all started with one product. Some people were born with great legs. But the rest of us have to work at it. Then I found Thigh Master. Every single time you squeeze Thigh Master, you strengthen and tone right where you need it. I thought I'd never fit into these jeans again. Thank you, Thigh Master. Thigh Master, it's quick, it's easy, it really works. The best part is uh, <laughs> there's been a little update. And now Thigh Master has a surprise. It vibrates. <laughs> Introducing Thighmaster Vibrato with pulsating action. Woo! Oh, cool. Wow. Adds a little excitement to your workout. A tingle and a burn at the same time. Now, there was a point when everyone had a Thighmaster in their house somewhere. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's, that's about to be a rebirth of that well, now that it vibrates. <laughs> I was surprised, though. I thought that the ball vibrated and that uh -huh. maybe you were supposed to use it in a whatever, different direction. Whatever you're in the mood for. Okay. Right. Well, I, far be it from me. <laughs> far be it from me to tell you how to use it. <laughs> Have you used the vibrating one? Uh, sure. Yeah, it, it uh, sleeps with us. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I... I, I Anything that vibrates. You don't even know what to say, do you? <laughs> right. I don't. I'm yeah, still picturing right. uh, Rachel's. Uh, I, yeah. uh, <laughs> so you, you obviously, you're someone who's really been committed to living a healthy life, and one of your new um, crusades is really this this anti toxicity mission. You have some really great tips on how you can minimize your exposure to potentially da dangerous chemicals. So give us some of your favorite ones. I, I would really think about drinking out of plastic water bottles. I would, I, because it outgasses phthalates. Phthalates are the most highly carcinogenic substance known to man. So I go for glass bottles and for water bottles. We wash ours out and... Um, Reusable water bottles, one of the simplest ways yes. you can reduce waste. Yep. Yes, And yeah. it's great for yeah. your health because you know exactly what that water bottle is made of. Right. Switch over to organic skin care. That's, that's a big deal. And cut out sugar. I know it's hard. It takes two weeks. It's like it's like getting off. I, I've never been on heroin, but it must be like getting off heroin. I mean, Suzanne, just, I pretty well, much, I, I actually just use the thigh master vibrato before bed, and I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like shit getting me out of my body. <laughs> the takeaway here is there are a lot of chemicals in our, in our environment. We still don't know what all of them do or even, you know, which ones we're exposed to. But the key is... The, as much as you can minimize your exposure to the unknowns, the better. You don't have to live in a bubble. Right. Um, you can make some simple changes. Suzanne, thanks so much for being with us. <laughs> <laughs>